It's not uncommon to discover new issues when latency is introduced, especially when utilizing an actual dedicated server, so it's always good to test on a dedicated server periodically. Something that comes up a lot though is how to actually set up a dedicated server. There are a huge amount of dedicated server options and we actually do have tutorials for some in our documentation, but they all tend to take time to learn. So today I'm going to show you a very easy to use tool that is free on the asset store, which allows you to launch and test your game on dedicated servers in a matter of minutes. Before I jump in though, I do want to mention very quickly that there are some paid options as well that are 100% worth looking into. These options offer scalability, diagnostics, and several other very useful features which are also incredibly easy to use. Nonetheless, the free tier is still awesome and I'm going to show you how to use it now. The first thing is to naturally get the asset. It's called Playflow Cloud and on my screen you can see what the asset store page looks like. If you want to follow along, go ahead and grab it now. After importing it into your project, you'll see a Playflow menu on top. So go ahead and click that and then click Playflow Cloud Server. Your first time using Playflow should look something like this. The most important field is noting the Playflow app token. We need to get an app token in order to use this asset. And that's actually very easy to do. We're just going to click the get Playflow token button down here on the bottom. Once clicked, you'll get a new browser page opened and you're going to see a big login button here that says sign in with Google. After you sign in, by default, you're going to see the Playflow free plan. If you are on one of the paid plans though, you should see it up here. Go ahead and click the drop down. There are two important parts of this and they're sitting right in front of you. It's the port and the token. I'm going to go ahead and copy the port first. You can also use the copy port button. I will now select my network manager and add tugboat if you have not already so that you can configure it and set the port to the value we just copied. I have also copied the token from the website and then pasted it in the Playflow app token field. Now all I have to do is just upload my server. So I'm going to go ahead and select the server location. It's default to North America, which is fine with me. And I'm going to click upload server. This might take a moment the first time you do it. And I'm pretty sure the developer is also working on speeding up the upload process. So just keep that in mind. After the upload completes, you will see game server successfully uploaded down here in the log area. You'll also notice other options for arguments, SSL, development build, restart server, etc. There's quite a few here. I strongly encourage you to check out the documentation because there's actually a lot more you can do beyond just this window. Now that the server is uploaded, we're just going to click start server and it's going to tell Playflow to start our server. Once it's started, you're going to get a URL which you should connect to. I'm going to copy the text in that URL and then post that inside Tugboat. So let me go ahead and close this window now that I have the text copied. Click network manager and then drop that inside my client address. It's worth noting that this shouldn't change nor the port once you have everything set up the first time. You can also notice that I'm using the character controller prediction scene which comes within the fish networking examples. So if you want something to get going and test this on right away, you can definitely use this scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. And then once I'm in play, I'm gonna hit client and my client is connected. You'll notice that I have a ping which is traveling over the network and that my player is moving around. Easy as that, I'm connected to a dedicated server. You can also have friends join as well to test out. 